Hi folks, we're going to do some uh, job order cost journal entries. Uh, I'm going to explain how to use the overhead T account and I'm going to explain how to compute cost of goods manufactured and cost of goods sold in a really simple easy to remember method. Okay, so the first thing actually the first thing I want to do is I want to talk about what goes into the work in process T account just a refresher remember we put direct materials direct labor and the applied overhead in there okay so that's going to be useful information for making our journal entries so the first video focuses on journal entries for job order costing we're gonna do our entries for the month of August and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna purchase raw materials on account $30,000. So we're going to debit the raw material inventory account, credit accounts payable, the liability account for the $30,000. The next day we're going to take the direct materials out of raw materials and put it into the work in process inventory account. We'll just assume it's $25,000. We're going to also take out indirect materials out of raw materials and put it into the overhead account for four thousand and then the total that came out of the raw material account is twenty nine thousand on August 3rd we're going to put people working so we're going to take the direct labor of, and put it into the work in process account that'll be thirty thousand and it's really for the whole month I just dated it the third and we're going to take the indirect labor for the whole month and put it into the overhead account, 7500 and we're going to owe them money, so it's going to be a credit to salary and wages payable for the sum of 37500 Okay, then we're going to, on August 4th, we're going to, or throughout the month, we're going to add in actual overhead cost as debits to the overhead T account. And we're just going to assume that's $20,000 and the accounts payable, we did it all on credit, so we'll credit accounts payable for $20,000. Um, also during the month of August, we have some more actual overhead cost totaling $10,000. Part of it is property taxes payable on the factory building of $6,500 and part of it is some of our prepaid insurance that we had just assume that we have some in an asset account and we'd already paid it for the year so we're going to take a month's worth out of it 3500 it's on the factory building only so it goes into the overhead account and then the last thing we're going to do during the month is we're going to depreciate uh, a couple of things so the depreciation on the factory building only will go into the overhead account and the depreciation on the admin building will only go into the depreciation expense account and then you would probably end up with two different accumulated depreciations one for each building just to keep it simple I'll put it all as a credit to accumulated depreciation of 14,000 okay so these are the basic journal entries that you're going to use for each job in job order costing Okay, the next video is going to be an explanation of the overhead T account, and I'll start a new video with that. So hang on, folks. More is coming.